Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's plan with me. Today I'm going to be setting up my March folder with my month plans and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go to my 2024 planner here and we are going to create a new folder. So I'm going to make it green because, you know, March. <laughs> and let's bring up the little keyboard here. And I'm just going to do March. And I'm going to put a little icon for a happy face. That's the month that we're in. And then I am going to go grab a monthly dashboard. So I'm going to go to my dashboard library. I'm going to use my to done five pieces. I'm all about the to done planner lately, you guys. I just love it. And I think, how many weeks do we need for, let's see, for March? Is it a six week month? It might be. It might be. Let me see here. Let me grab my phone. I'm just trying to decide if I need a month with six rows or five rows of boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. So I am going to use the landscape one. I always use Sunday Start. I'll duplicate this. And then I am going to rename this and just do monthly calendar. And then we're gonna move that to our new March folder. All right, and then I'm gonna go back out to my planner. And I'm using the planner pieces system, by the way. Um, let me actually just do a little adjustment here. So these are just single sheet PDFs. Um, it's the most simple form of digital planning out there and it's been awesome. I love it so much. It just got really windy outside. That's very random. But anyways, okay, so I'm going to pull over the stickers I wanna use. So I think I'm gonna actually select a couple here of the kits I wanna use. So I think I'm gonna do St. Patty's. Um, We'll just do all these guys. And then of course the to done five. And I'm gonna move those into my March folder. Okay. So now all those are in there. Okay, so I have my sticker book pulled up over here. I have my monthly calendar, so now we'll start dating everything and the first of March is on a Friday. So I'm going to go to my date dots here and we need all 31 of these guys. So I'm going to lasso all of them. Oop, I need to make sure images is checked. And I am filming this in real time. It's typically what I like to do for the monthly plan with me is I love these date dots so stinking much, you guys. So with date dots, I like to lasso all of them and resize them all at the same time. It just saves a lot of time doing it that way. So I think that's a pretty decent size. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to just start, oop, I need to turn images on over here too. And I'm going to start just kind of putting these where they need to go and then I'll um, I will what is the word I'm looking for zoom in <laughs> I will zoom in and fine-tune it but I just like to kind of put them sort of where they go at first so we have had so much going on over here. I just got done filming our budget check-in video, which I don't know when this video is going up. That video is going up on Thursday. This video, I think a lot will depend on when I can edit it. I'm probably not gonna be able to edit it tonight. So I'm filming this Wednesday evening. It's been a very busy, busy, busy day. I have not even had a moment to like do much of anything. 
Um, we had a full school day today. I've been deep cleaning the house. I uh, have a totally new setup in my office. I now share an office with my girls um, because they do homeschool in my office while I'm working in here. I, yeah, we're just totally redoing our house. The downstairs bedroom is now gonna be like a workout room slash guest room. And then their toys and like their Nintendo Switch and stuff is going up in the loft. And things are just a change in over here, but it's a lot of work doing all that switching around. I love, I'm so obsessed with how the office turned out though. Like it is so perfect. I love it so much. And it worked out really, really nicely. We're just kind of preparing because Andrew's going to be out doing Instacart stuff and eventually probably working hours somewhere, probably Costco, but maybe something else, who knows. And um, so I just wanted to have the girls in here with me. I'm able to do homeschool with them and I can work and I do have noise canceling headphones, but I'm just here to help them. And Julia's school, she's in preschool currently, so it takes her 15 to 20 minutes a day. It's very quick. And then Maddie is largely independent. We go over her lesson together once she hits the fourth grade level for the curriculum you're, we're using, which is the good and the beautiful. Um, it's mainly video lectures that she'll be watching and then she'll be completing the work along with like the video. And then I, of course, will be here to help with questions and to keep her on track and to like grade her work and stuff. But Maddie likes to just kind of get it done. You know, she's pretty independent. So I think it just works out nicely. We all packed our lunches today because I have a little fridge in my office. So we all packed our lunch today and we ate lunch in the office together. It was just so cute, like I just loved it. So anyways, um, that's what's been going on over here. It's been a lot of work. My hands are in rough shape from like all the cleaning because I took everything off the bookshelves and dusted them and like got into every like little crevice of this office. And I just noticed that my friend downstairs, or not downstairs, outside came out with her kiddos. And so I was like, in my budget video, I was like, oh, I'll be able to film this before everyone goes outside, but they're all heading out already. So I don't know, we'll see. Maybe I'll cut this short. I've been kind of prioritizing hanging out with people and like socially, socialing. oh my goodness. I'm telling you, it's been a long day. It's been a long week today, <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like the Lord has definitely blessed our family with such an amazing community. Like we have the best neighbors who are turning into just like amazing friends and we all go to church together. There's like a big group of us and all of our kids hang out and they're like little best friends. And it's just been absolutely incredible. And then my best friend, um, who I've known since like elementary school. She's coming to hang out this weekend. I haven't seen her in a while because she started a new job and stuff. Um, she's going into nursing, so that's very exciting. And she's gonna come hang out this weekend. So like my life has just been very full, like my social calendar has been, which is not like, that hasn't been the case for so long. And man, it's just, I, I prayed for like people to do life with because I love connecting with people online. Obviously, I you know share my life and my business and all that online, but there's just something totally different about hanging out with people in person and like, you know, it's just, it's different. Like people that you do life with. So I pray to God, like, you know, I want the right people in my life. There were some people in my life that like, you know, my spirit felt very unsettled about and I was able to gain clarity on some of that and um, just having the right people with similar values and like all that kind of stuff that you're able to just do life with it just makes a huge difference so anyways um, that is that so that is all in the one thing I will say is that with the six weeks the boxes are much smaller than the five weeks so I have to keep that in mind when I am putting stickers in so I we have so many appointments so much going on oh my gosh okay so Sam is coming over 
this weekend. So I am going to put in a little label for that. And I think I'm gonna do, oh, this is cute. I'm gonna do this one here. And it doesn't have, oh, it does. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna do Bohemian. So Sam and Erkin visiting. And um, we're gonna, yeah, like pack a picnic. It's what we talked about doing and like just go to a park with the kids and like hang out and visit. Her and I need to catch up and stuff. So that'll be really, really fun. So I think I'll just do that. And then we have, oh, I need to put new releases in. Okay, this is the tentative plan. Emphasis on the word tentative <laughs> because yeah, I've been able to work really hard and um, I am very determined to get back to weekly releases and stuff like that. I think what I need to do, I've had this like issue in my brain where I keep thinking like these releases have to be big, giant like releases and I put so much pressure on myself to like do that um, and you know, if it's just a couple like different types of sticker packs or if it's like one thing for this or whatever like that's fine right like I need to just kind of be okay with like smaller releases but more consistent releases like I just want to do the I love the weekly releases like I love being able to like share something new with you guys every week and I know you guys are missing it too and so um the bigger releases I have planned, I just want to kind of split up into smaller pieces. So I'm hoping to actually do a new release every Wednesday in the month of March. So emphasis on the word tentative because I still do have some work to do, but um, that is the plan as of right now. It is seriously so, oh, I'm on labels. What am I doing? Oh my goodness, you guys. It's freezing in my office right now. It is so cold. I don't know why it's so cold, but that's part of the reason that my brain is like, short circuiting over here. Let's pull in, actually before I even do that, I like to pull in the icons because I like to see um, what colors things are. I'm seriously starting to like shiver, it's so cold. Okay, so I'm gonna pull stickers over and then we're gonna need um, Bible study. We're gonna need church and piano. We have dentist appointments galore. Julia has her dentist appointment this Thursday, the 29th. So, but Andrew, Maddie, and I all have dentist appointments in March. And then we have a block party coming up, so that's very exciting. Um, we have, oh man, wait till I give you guys this update. <laughs> We might need to get our all of our tile in our in our house replaced. Yes, you heard that correctly. I am, hmm, I am, yeah. Um, and then we have a lunch date with my friend Aubrey at her house. We put that on the calendar. And then we also have St. Patrick's Day, but um, I might do something different for that. I don't know. We don't really do anything for St. Patrick's Day, honestly. So we'll see. Okay, but let's start there. I think that's a good starting spot. So we'll put in new releases. So I'm gonna go back to labels and go basic and then go to, I like these ones right here. And I'm gonna use this dark green and we will put new releases in. I need to get my script stickers as well. So pull that up and then arrange, bring to front. And let's go out and get scripts. And we'll do the essential scripts. 
and I have P2P new release on here. And I need to turn images on. Okay, so our builder rushed these houses, let me tell you. Like, a lot of our neighbors have had issues with um, their tile, like their, their floors and stuff. Um, as far as like the tiles were hollow, um, they weren't laid down properly. Some people like the concrete was not poured, uh, to be level. And so I thought we got lucky because we've been in this house for almost four years now. But, um, as it turns out, Uh, let's do that. We have a hollow tile. Well, we have a few hollow tiles now in our kitchen. And we're going to do like a little test. There's a little test you can do to with a golf ball to see where the other hollow tiles are. But this is how it started out for everybody. It's like they had a few hollow tiles and then don't you know, like <laughs> it turns into this huge issue where there's like tenting of, um, why are you, why is this doing this? There's tenting of the tiles taking place and like they're popping and cracking and all that kind of stuff. So we are going to um, have someone come in and all of our neighbors have needed to have all their tile replaced. And at this point, it's such a common issue that, uh, that the builder is just offering a buyout. Um, so they're just giving a buyout to homeowners and people are just replacing their whole floors, which is going to require us to not be home. We have two dogs, two children, like, so it's going to be really interesting. Some people have had to leave their homes for like two weeks. Some people it's been less than a week. I think it just totally depends on who ends up coming out to do stuff. But yeah, so that's, that's lovely. Um, and we're, I mean, I'm thankful that there is a fix for it and that we're going to be able to get it taken care of and looked at and everything. But it's still, it's just like, oh man, like this is not ideal, obviously. I think I'm going to do, um, for the block party, I think I'm going to do this one. Super excited for our block party. We, uh, we got a dunk ta tank and we're getting a couple bounce houses, one for the, the littler kids and then one for the bigger kids because the big kids tend to be crazy and we didn't want them like, you know, um, hurting the little kids. So, but we're gonna have a big block party. We did this last year too, it was really fun. So I'm just gonna put here, block party, we like put out a whole bunch of tables and get food and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it should be a really good time. This neighborhood has been just the biggest blessing. I'm very grateful that we are where we are because it's just amazing. So, okay, so the block party's in. And then we have a whole bunch of dentist appointments. So let's go ahead and put that in and figure out what we're gonna do for that. So for the dentist, let's do, maybe we'll just do like some regular, yeah, I'll do like the light green, or no, we'll do this one, light green. And I'm just gonna put in, let's see, I'm gonna put the little tooth. Oh gosh. Um, let's bring this to the front. And we'll bring the little tooth right here. And then we'll use, hug me tight. And my appointment's on the 11th at nine o'clock. And I'm gonna do A, M, and we'll do 
centered. And make that a little smaller. And then I'm just going to do S Dentist appointment. Okay, that works. And then now that that is done, I can take all of that and resize it. And we'll put that on the 11th. Okay. Oops. Make sure we get that little tooth in there. And then... So we have the 11th for me, and then Maddie's is on the 13th. And hers is at 3.30 p.m. And then I'm gonna Scooch this over just a smidgen. Okay, and then Andrew's is on the 12th. <laughs> just boom, 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 one right after the other. Get it done. And his appointment is at nine as well. So we're gonna change that to an A and that then I think what I'll do is I'll like maybe make a line and bump that up oops turn images on bump that up all right hopefully I looked up and it was blurry I'm praying that that is not a problem when I go back to edit this, but it's definitely starting to get darker. So yeah. And then I can just go and I can erase that line. Okay, so all of those are in, dentist appointments are in, and then on the 11th, our builder is also coming to check out the house. So I'm going to use this orange here and I'm going to make this roughly the same size. I'm going to have to move this up a little bit or a lot of it. <laughs> And then I can turn images off and I can copy the text, paste that in there. And they're coming anytime between 8 and 12. So I'm just going to put on here um, 8 a.m. 12. PM. Let's see if I can just change the line spacing on that. Oof, that's a little too much. And then I'm going to do floor inspection.
and I have these little tools right here. So I'm gonna arrange, bring to front, and the little tools there. Okay, so that's all good. I might, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump that up again. And this one I'm gonna put lower because it's like later in the day. Okay, so floor inspection is in, dentist appointment block party. We have spring break, we have Easter, we have our lunch date at Aubrey's house. Oh, and piano, we still have to do piano. Oh man, I don't even have space <laughs> for piano um, on the 11th. So yeah, let's go ahead and figure this out. I am going to go to labels, basic, I like to use the solid ovals, and I think I'm gonna go with this dark green for piano. And I'm gonna have to figure out, um, I don't know if I can just like, just resize this and like stick this up here. Oh, you know what I could do, actually? I'll just resize this one and kind of put it, ugh, I don't like the look of that. But it's like, what choice do I have, you know? Maybe resize both of them. And then, I can put this guy here and bring this to the front. Sorry that it's getting dark, but I'm sure you guys can still see because the light, the screen's bright. But I'm gonna put piano right here. We are talking about getting Maddie started in um, tennis again because our friend's son, um, our two kids like play together a lot and he's thinking about doing tennis. So we might get that going in April is what we were thinking, but we'll see. So piano, and I'm gonna turn that to white. And then And then we'll just paste that on Mondays and Thursdays. It's always at the same time. We also are looking into getting Jules set up with swim lessons. We really want to get that done. So we're thinking we might um, go to Aqua Tots for that. We had a private instructor for Maddie who we adored. He was so awesome, but he unfortunately is not giving swim lessons anymore. And we're having a really difficult time finding a private instructor. I definitely would prefer that. Um, I felt like Maddie just learned so quickly that way and sometimes when they're in big groups like they're not getting obviously they're not getting that one-on-one -on -one attention as much and um, all that but I think we're just gonna have to like you know we need to do something so because summer is right around the corner and I just want to make sure that Jules you know is a strong swimmer before we're getting in the pool and all that this summer. So 
Okay, so that is done. Piano is in. Then lunch date at Aubrey's house. So I'm gonna go actually to the pattern labels and maybe do this like light green color. This is like a little craft paper, I love it. And then we have this little lunch bag. So I'm gonna arrange, bring to front. Okay, so that's in. Then we just have our Bible study. So actually all of these are gonna need to get bumped up because that's Thursday night. So I'm gonna bump all those up. And then we'll uh, put Bible study in. So for that, I think I'm gonna do the solid one and may do hmm let me just do this darker darker orange peach sort of color Okay, and then do Bible study at 6.15 p.m. I can even take this and just make it a little bit bigger. And I can even make that a little shorter. And that looks good. So now I'm just going to cut that and we'll just paste it. Oh, and then I know we're going to do an Easter brunch, too, for our Bible study group. We're going to host at our house, but I'm not, I don't know, like, the details on that quite yet in terms of, like, what day. I know it'll be, you know, probably, I'm guessing it'll be this Thursday before Easter, but we'll see. If that's the case, then I'll just change that out, but we're going to be doing that this year, which I'm really excited about. We're going to, I think I'm going to do, like, a... Easter egg hunt for all the kids and do different Easter activities and stuff and we're gonna do like a brunch sort of potluck which is my favorite because brunch food is the best you know um, so that's that this calendar is looking real full let me tell you then we have church so I highly doubt we're gonna go to church um, I'm gonna need to make this smaller on the day of the block party, I don't think that that's gonna happen because everyone that we're doing the block party with are the same people that we go to church with um, for the most part. So I think we'll probably end up doing church together like that 
Sunday. So I'll probably do church on that Sunday. But let's go to my brush stroke. Y'all know I use the brush stroke every time for church. I don't know. I just really, oops, I just really love how it looks. So I'm going to do the lighter peach. I am feeling so much better, you guys, now that I'm like sitting down to do this. I am feeling so much better. Oh man, I like was just like, gosh, we have so many appointments, there's so much going on, like I need to get this all out of my head and now here we are, thank the Lord, like <laughs> it's just, oh man, it's just a lot, you know, there's just a lot going on. Like I said, my social calendar is just so much more full than it's ever been before and it's just like the most amazing thing. Like, I just, yeah, it's what has been missing. I feel like, I feel like that face-to-face -face human interaction, socializing with other people, it just changes everything, you know? Like, I encourage you that, especially if you work from home, and all that kind of stuff. It can be very easy to just get into this routine of like never leaving the house. Like we live in a world of just so much convenience, right? Like we're able to get our groceries delivered to us where we can get anything delivered to us like within a, a day or two. Uh, you just rarely have to leave the house these days and I feel like Getting to know your neighbors is a lost art. Like even in our last neighborhood, we knew some of our neighbors because we went to church with them. But for the most part, we didn't know, like we knew that the neighbors across the street from us, right next to us, and like a little bit down the street from us, and that was it. Our whole block at this point, <laughs> like knows each other, and we're hanging out with each other every single night. And just, yeah, I just encourage you, put yourself out there, like socialize, get out there. Um, it's It's pretty easy for us because we go to church with a lot of people that we're in our neighborhood with. We're doing Bible study with them, like all this kind of stuff. Our kids are similar ages, like, so I know not everyone is in that type of situation, but even if you can join like a book club or, you know, just go knock on some doors and put yourself out there or hang out at a park or something, I think like it has totally changed my life, like getting out there in my, my mental state, honestly, like, I think I was just really, really lonely for a really long time and I thought I was making connections because I was, you know, like online, social media, like interacting with people, but it's different to do, like to have face-to-face -face interaction with people, going to get coffee with people, like that is a totally different thing. And so I just really encourage that. I think like COVID obviously, um, changed a lot like in terms of like you know the social distancing and like people it just the work environments changing and just all oh, it changed everything it you know I could say a lot but I won't um, <laughs> so anyways but yeah I just I think we are not meant like human beings are meant to like we're social people like and even me I'm an introvert I really am I'm an extroverted introvert is what I like to call myself. I'm very comfortable alone, but I have to force myself to get out there and like hang out with people. And it's just, it's the coolest thing. Like our neighbors across the street, we've gotten so close to them this Sunday. Like our kids all went, um, they randomly went to breakfast and then they went to the park after and they're like, Hey, you guys want to meet us? Like we're doing bike rides and feeding ducks and we were planning on just staying home that day and we're like, yeah, let, let's go. And we all got some sunshine and got to hang out and like the kids got to play and just, it was, oh, I don't know. It's such a simple thing, like, but it's something that I think is just like more rare these days, you know? So I, yeah, I just encourage you. It's totally changed changed my life like these people are amazing and um the family across the street that we've gotten closer with to like um they're a military family so we don't know long how long they'll be here for <laughs> which is kind of sad but um we're just going to enjoy our time with them 
while they're here. But they moved here from Hawaii and they used to like live in Guam and stuff so they have all these cool adventures and stories to share and things like that. And um, their kids are really great. They're like the exact same age gap as our kids. They have like a younger kid, older kid, Maddie's age, all of that. They're considering homeschooling soon. Like all these different things, right, are happening and um, or that we like have in common. So it's just pretty cool. Okay, so I have to make this up here a little bit smaller. I think I'm gonna just kind of center that more. And then we'll do church here, church here, and here. And then like I said, we're probably gonna go Sunday morning. And I have to put an Easter, St. Patrick's Day, I do have a holidays. If we do church here, we're probably going to do the 11.30. We are slow moving in the morning, let me tell you. We don't like to rush our mornings. <laughs> so, we'll probably do that. And then, I do have holidays and events. So I can put in St. Patrick's Day. Um, I think I'm just going to do this one here. It's on the 17th, I believe. I'm just going to add that very simple up there. And then we have Easter. So I think I have in this. Hmm, I could use the he is risen, y'all. Maybe I'll pull that over. And then I'll come in here. All these scripts were just on sale, by the way, for um, the Treat Yourself Tuesday. Every Tuesday is going to be like a different sort of deal. Sometimes they'll be larger sales, sometimes they'll be smaller, but and then I think I'm going to do a circle. Like maybe this here. And I might even just put this down here. And then I can put this up here into front and then, oh cute. I love that. He is risen y'all. There we go. So that's that. And then do I have everything? I think that I do. Oh, spring break. Do to do, do. Okay. So our spring break, we did line it up with all Maddie's friends who are in school. Just because I want to make sure she has the time off with them. Like it's going to be swim, like everyone's going to be swimming probably. I want her to be able to just go to the pool all day if she wants to go to the pool all day. So um, we'll put that in. So let's see. I need some washi. Some thin, I like to just use the very thin, solid one. Um, I just have to decide which color I want to do. I'm, th I'm thinking this light green would be good. So we're going to pull that over. And then what I'm going to do is I am just going to make this the length that I need. I'll probably share the new office setup on 
Instagram at some point. So if you guys are curious and you want to see it, definitely follow me there. But how's that looking? That's yeah, good. Then let's go to labels and go to our little arrow here. Do this. Yeah. Yeah. Could have sworn someone just knocked. Okay. Move that up a bit and then I think I have spring break in here. Yep, spring break. Gonna do this. Paste. And spring break. Okay, so we have that in. And then I might do paper. Kind of really liking this one. Okay, everyone's out, so I officially like want to go hang out. So let's see. Let's put this let's make this a little smaller and arrange send to back. And then I like that. And then we'll go to our deco here. her over. That's cute. Oh yeah, spring forward. I never pay attention to that. We don't um, say all the kids are going out. Um, oh, the little bunny would be so cute. I wonder if I can get this little bunny over somewhere here. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I don't know what I was saying now. Oh yeah, in Arizona we like don't have daylight savings, so I feel like I never pay attention to that. Um, and then I think like spring officially, what day does spring officially start? What day does spring start? March 19th. So maybe we can put Hello Spring right here. That'll be cute. Hello Spring. Um, and I think that might be all that I'm doing, you guys. Could put another little butterfly maybe up here. There's a cute plant that I was thinking I could use. I really like this one. I can just kind of put there randomly or um, maybe like right here. I don't know. I think that's going to be that's going to be it for now. Oh, you know what? Duh, <laughs> I need to put that, it's March. Let's see, um, let's go to my months and days. And we'll copy March. And we'll put that up here. Okay, I always like it torn between do I want to put it in the corner or do I want to put it center? The center looks really cute too. Let's see. Eh, I, th 
think I'm just so used to being it in the upper like left corner. I think I'm just gonna put it over here. Okay. So that is it you guys. That is my monthly plan with me. As you can see, it is a busy, busy, busy month. <laughs> that is for sure. We have so much going on, but it'll be good. I'm excited. So fingers crossed I can get the weekly releases out for you guys. I would love to be able to do that again. I, like I said, I've been working really hard and just also like making sure I'm setting realistic goals and expectations for myself. Like using my time wisely, all that kind of stuff, prioritizing projects in terms of what's really in demand, what's not, and then also like paying attention to just my own creative brain and like what my brain wants to do because sometimes forcing that creativity is just, it's like torture. You know, like if I'm feeling inspired to work on one project, then I go for it, you know? So I'm just trying to go more with my intuition on things as well. But like I said, I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this come together. I feel so much better having all of this stuff out of my brain and in front of me, let me tell you. That is it for now. I think the next video you guys will see is going to be just a weekly plan with me. I wanna get back to putting those up regularly for you guys and sharing my after the pen posts on Instagram. I definitely wanna start doing that as well. But that is it for now. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos and I will chat with you all later. Bye.